Hey everybody. All right. I ended up being home this weekend and I could have recorded, but it got so busy that I couldn't. So I wanted to show you a happy mail and then uh, do the remainder of the flip through of the month of September and maybe chat a little while I do it. So I got a happy mail today that I was not expecting. I'm very excited about it. And I have these, um, she put washi around the address label. So this was this washi, it's kind of a stickery, like it's really pretty. It's kind of gold foil on it type of thing. It's very pretty, so I'll be putting that in my journal. And this is from Jane. Um, and Jane, thank you so much. I was, I was so surprised. <laughs> I was really, because I wasn't expecting anything, and it was just really sweet to get something. So here's the card, and love this twine. I love twine a lot, and um, I guess I've never seen colors. I maybe I've never looked. So that's something I should probably look for, huh? Okay, so, let me see. And pretty card. So pretty. Oh, nice long letter. Um, really sweet. I'm going to read this later, but... Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll read it later, but it looks like really, really nice. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. Wow. I love it. <laughs> Very sweet. Mary Lou's cards. Is that the type of card this is? I don't know. Oh, it's his sister. <laughs> anyway, beautiful. So here's the lovely things, all kinds of all things. It's so wonderful. Thank you. Look at this little owl. Um, oh, look. It's a silverware holder. That's so cute. My goodness. This is so cute. Ah. Oh. We had sure and put him out for Thanksgiving. Just I think I'll hang him up so he can be seen because he's super duper adorable. Okay, and then look at this pencil pouch. Let me just cut that off of there. And it's really nice. I really like this. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So perfect. I'm definitely going to be using this. I love these little, like, little pouches, and this one is way adorable. So thank you so much. Let's see what else. So many things. The cutest owl notebook. Oh, and I love this color. I really like this color. So cute. Oh my gosh. I, you know, I haven't been... I know this is Dollar Tree, and I have not been to the Dollar Tree in a, quite a while, and I do need to go. Um, you know, really, honestly, I haven't hardly bought any supplies because I just haven't. Very few. Just kind of crazy. I love these owl stickers. These kind are my absolute favorite. And aren't these adorable? These are so, oh my gosh, so, so cute. This woodland, I love it. And look at these. These type of things I like to use for decorating the outsides of journals that I use. This, isn't that cute? It's a calendar page. And it's so pretty. And this would really make a really pretty journal cover as well for, you know, my journals. And then, look at this. I've never seen this before. This is a stencil wheel. And look at it. It's so I have never seen this before. So, let me see. Let me put something white under here so you can... Eh, it has to be dark, doesn't it? So you can see see the different owls. So there's 
all these owls and you just keep churning this. I've never seen this before. This is really, really cool. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oops. <laughs> ah, it's so adorable. I'm getting it stuck on everything, but yeah. Thank you so much for all of these very beautiful, cute owl things. I really like them a lot. I just thank you. It was totally unexpected. And I can't wait to read your card. I can't take, I mean, I kind of went through it super fast. But, um, just really sweet. Hmm. Wow. Oh. Very, very nice. You'll be hearing from me, too, just so you know. Okay, so I want to show you the journal, and um, it's finished. It's as far as I'm going to go. I think you remember I told you I was doing double journaling. I would write in here, and I've always done that. I've always written what happened during the day, and then I would, and the weather, and then I would just um, rewrite stuff in my, in my creative journal. And then in August, I decided... I didn't want to do that anymore and the last video I did a flip through and I got all the way up through September 22nd right yeah and um, it's kind of oh no I did this last night yesterday so no here I think I think I got I think this was this was the last one so Vacation, travel day. I'm just trying to remember where. Maybe this. Maybe this. I don't know, honestly. We were back from vacation and I was just decorating up. I am so far behind. I, I've written, everything's written, but I did September 21st or so through the 30th on Saturday and then I was busy the rest of the weekend and I'll show you my October one um, it's all written in I haven't done any decorating at all none it's just pretty crazy so I have to keep checking this to make sure it's still recording I don't know I can't hear it if it turns off anyway this weekend was just we had snow it, it's so sad <laughs> we saw snowflakes like mixed in on Friday and then Saturday we had snow showers off and on all day and rain and then Sunday the same thing sleet and rain um, off and on all day and today thank goodness the sun is shining the highs were in the 30s on um, Friday and Saturday and I don't know what happened to fall but anyway I feel like fall returned today and it got up to start in the 30s I think it got up in the 50s maybe I'm not really sure maybe in the 40s, but um, we were going to go camping, and we canceled that because that totally did not work, so we didn't camp, and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> so anyway, we, we winterized our camper on Thursday, and uh, we're done for the season, so yeah, and this next, next weekend looks decent, and we could have camped, but it's too late. So anyway, um, I left off like where we ended vacation. So the Saturday was a travel day, um, getting back home from South Dakota. We got home on Saturday. And then Sunday, um, we relaxed. We slept. We went to bed early Saturday night, and we slept super long. And then we went to church and got groceries and... Um, went over to get our keys from my daughter and gave him some gifts we got them and and then we just relaxed um it's just because you know you just have to we, we were tired it was an excellent vacation but you guys know how it is half the time you come home from vacation and you're you're tired so that's kind of how it was and then the monday the 23rd it was back to work um it was also the first day of autumn so i I had all these like fall stickers from last year so I put a bunch of them on here and 
Oh yeah, my boss, I came back from vacation and then she went on vacation. So she was gone that whole week, my first week back. But um, her dad, who is my, um, he's the president of the company, he bought, he goes to Starbucks every day. So he brought me back a pumpkin spice latte every day, which was really nice for four days. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So that was kind of nice, especially because it was the first day of autumn and I do love the PSL very much. So here I put Starbucks stuff and fall things. Um, you guys, I think you know that I'm in sisterhood at our church and it's every Tuesday night and we have a break at Christmas and a break through the summer. Um, and I'm a table leader again this year and I have nine ladies at my table and I love sisterhood so much it's so good and then um, here's Wednesday the 25th um, nothing special just work and the Thursday work and we have like a Bible study at somebody's house on Thursday so we went to that and then um, Friday I just put some um, Spanish candy wrappers in here because my we had gotten a basket of uh, Mexican candy from my son's fiance. She's Mexican. She lives in Mexico, and um, we took it on vacation and ate some of it there. And um, then that was some of what we had. And my boss um, gave me some bags of these apple chips. Those were really good. And here I put another wrapper and Saturday. And Saturday it looked like it was pretty busy, the 28th. Um, oh my gosh, house, housework. Saturday was housework. Yeah, and then I think um, he set up for me to record videos. And that's when I recorded a vid the first video coming back and recording. And then we had my granddaughter Sadie overnight. And she will be 8 in December. And we rented Aladdin, the new Disney movie, and that was so good. So we did that. And then Sunday, we took her to church with us. Um, and after that, oh, we visited my mother-in-law and her husband. And we picked up Sa Rachel and Sadie and all of us went to visit. And then the last day was Monday the 30th and that was just back to work again so there wasn't really anything special sometimes we get stuff at stamps at work that I like so this is like a Muppet one and there's a winter berry so I'll I'll peel the stamps off and just take bring them home and stick them in my journal so that's all so then I didn't have enough to do a whole month in here so I moved to a new notebook so this notebook is done and I wanted to show you what this looks like so this is the cover it's beautiful and my friend Galena gave this to me and I thought you know what I'm gonna put the cover I made this um, traveler's notebook cover I made one the same size for Christmas as well so I figure I can maybe do no October November and December and when after Thanksgiving I'll switch this to the to the winter one and um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And it's a kind of a thicker paper and it's got a different feel, kind of a velvety, soft feel to it. And um, I haven't decorated yet, except for plastering down my stickers from when I serve at church. Or this was Sisterhood, so Tuesday. And Sisterhood, of course. And then, oh, Chiquita Banana. So you see, I, I I started kind of working out how I want this one to look. So I did draw one thing. And the third, as you can see, work, not much going on. But then the fourth and the fifth, our, our church had a big women's conference. And we have it in the Minneapolis Convention Center. And it's called Sparkle. And the... Um, theme this year it was clothed with strength and there were like 3,000 plus women and we filled the place it was sold out and it was my first time going and I think it was probably their fifth year or maybe more since they've been doing this and it was wonderful oh my goodness I loved it I went down caught the bus they had a bus to take us downtown so I did that after work and then Saturday morning early all the way through Saturday mid-afternoon so, um, 
I just wrote, did some of that. I put an extra page in to write a little bit about Sparkle. And then um, some more from that Saturday. And then Sunday, I started doing some, like, bigger like capital letter capital letters here and there just to emphasize some things so um on sunday after church my daughter and her friend joined me and we went to see downton abbey the movie and it was amazing i loved it i can't wait till it comes on dvd i want to watch it it's gonna be it's gonna be so good it's so good it's such a good movie then um uh, monday the 7th that was last week. Uh, back to work. Nothing really special. We took some care partner training with our church. So when people put in a request for someone to visit them or to help them walk through something difficult, grief, job loss, really anything, then um, we meet with them once a week if it's in the area that we, we want to help in. Um, so we took... Um, seven weeks of training, seven or eight weeks of training, and then um, we got our first care partner um, thing, and it's with an older couple, and the husband is homebound, and um, so we're just visiting them once a month just to have, you know, some fellowship with them, and uh, to pray with them, maybe read the Bible, things like that, and they're really, they're really a sweet couple, and they're the same age as my parents. Or, well, as my mom would have been, but the same age as my dad. And then Tuesday was another Starbucks and Sisterhood. And Wednesday, nothing super special. I did go to Perkins for brunch with my daughter. And we winterized our camper. And then um, Thursday last week, I joined Weight Watchers Digital. Because I just knew that I had to do something because I'm just not... I just struggle to lose um, weight no matter what I do. And I didn't want to do something that was so restrictive that I wouldn't stick with it. I want it to be a lifestyle change. And Weight Watchers has changed so much. I did it a couple times years ago when it was super restrictive and really hard in a way. And so. I just, I'm just doing the digital and it's so much easier. Just do it on my phone. I really like it. So I think this is something I can really stick with. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. And then um, Friday we had Devani's in for lunch and I got a spinach chicken salad. And then we rented Toy Story 4. So we watched that. And we started watching this new series on, on Netflix called Heartland. And it's not new because there's like 11 seasons, but um, I'd never watched it, and um, I really, really like it. And then uh, Sadie, we had Sadie come over Saturday to spend the night, and we watched Toy Story again with her, and it snowed. Snow. Erg. Too soon for that, right? And then Sunday, um, I didn't, we went to church, and then we went to visit my brother-in-law and his wife, um, and just had a really nice visit with them. And we, my sister-in-law and law and I did crafts. You know how you find things online and you try and copy them? So that's kind of what we did. So we did some white pumpkins. And you take like a, a bucket and you put in lukewarm water and some drops of nail polish. And it's got to be the right nail polish. We finally found the right one. And you twirl the pumpkin in it and it gives it a marble effect. And then I painted on the other white pumpkin. And then I mod podged um, fall leaves on a pie pumpkin, which I'm going to eventually just wash off and, and cook and make pie with. And so that brings me up to today. So that's where we are so far. So yeah, I think I can easily do um, the last three months of the year in this book. So I'm happy for that is working out great and I really need to do the decorating so probably what I'm going to do is spend some time doing a little time doing that tonight because I really need to yeah no, um, other than that we didn't do much um, I think you guys know oh you probably don't you guys know that I have this cute little hamster Monty um, and I only had him for uh, like a little over a year and he passed away during the summer 
but I wasn't on YouTube at that time. So I just found him one morning. We had a little burial for him at my daughter's. She has a place out back where their little pets get buried. And um, so Sadie and Rachel and I did that. And then I went to a breeder this time to get a hamster instead of a pet store. And I got um, another little, um, this one was a Russian white, I think. And I got him like a week old. He was like a week old is all. And he's white and so adorable. And when I got him, he was like this, seriously, he was like this big. Now he's like this big and he's full grown. So um, I cleaned his cage, but we named him Klaus and Sadie named him Snowflake. So she calls him Snowflake. I call him Klaus when I'm not mistakenly calling him Monty, which is really hard not to do. But um, he's very sweet. And, he, and because he was, um, I got him so young and it was at a breeder rather than like pet store breeding, wherever they get their hamsters from. He's so gentle and friendly and he lets me pick him up and he doesn't bite me because Monty would like nip a little. Um, really nice, very happy about that. So anyway, I thought I'm glad I got a chance to come back on. Um, next week, weekend I'm gonna be home the whole time. So I'm hoping to show you flip through of this caught up and uh, boy I'm sure hoping I can get to work on those Daphne's diary inspired junk journals that I still have not gotten back to because I have been so busy I have not been in my room so I'm hoping that I can finally like start finding time there's just during the weekdays I'm usually so busy with things and I've got stuff I'm trying to work on and you guys know how it gets it can just get crazy but doing good, and I hope you enjoyed this little Happy Mail thing. Thank you again, Jane, and this little flip through, and thank you again, Galena, for giving me this beautiful journal, and um, I might actually be on next weekend, too, which I would enjoy talking to you all again. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're enjoying your fall. Um, yeah. And have a good evening. Bye.